Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial by Anna van Lucy Paper Crafts. I have a new Thursday treat for you and it's this cute little pouch here. And um, it really doesn't take much um, of uh, cardstock or designer paper. So all we're going to need is a piece of cardstock or designer paper that is 6 inches by 4 inches. So if you were to use a whole 12 by 12 sheet of designer series paper, you could actually make six pouches out of just one sheet. Then we're also going to need some die cutting pieces okay, and something for sentiment here. Now, let me put that up here so you can see. And I'll explain these pieces um, as we go along. So now, first, um, like I said, our cardstock here, um, we're going to need our paper trimmer or scoring tool, whatever you like to use. And we're going to put it in along the six uh, inch side. Okay, so your six inch. And we're going to score it at Two, uh, two and a half inches and two and three quarters and don't worry about the measurements I will put them below the video and at three inches okay. and then we're gonna move it all the way to five and a half and five and three quarters okay and that's pretty much all we're gonna need this for let me put that aside Now, before we reinforce our score lines here or fold, I want to do some stamping here on my pouch. So I decided to use this fun stamp set called Campology, and it has some fun outdoor um, images in it and um, really sweet sentiments. So that's kind of what inspired my uh, little pouch here. And I'm going to use this big um, line of tree, uh, trees here and one of the sentiments. And since the trees are pretty big and I want to make sure that I have it on there right, I use my Stemperatus. So I'm going to just secure my cardstock here in place. I still have a little bit of ink here on my stem but I would like to position it right so I'm just using my chamois to clean it off I actually cut mine in half okay so now just taking my score lines here as my guide and I want it right here in the middle you want to make sure that your trees are actually upright So grab that and now I'm going to stamp this in early espresso. So I'm just going to ink up my stamp here and if you like it's always great to just use your stamp case to put under your stamparatus. It just makes it easier to put on the ink. If I missed a spot, that's not too bad because I can always go back. That's the beauty of the Stamparatus. Okay, and um, right, just give it a nice push. All right, that's my image there. So I can put that aside. And now what I also want to do is just give it a little bit of, you know, texture on there. So I'm going to just get a scrap piece of paper here and I'm going to use my early espresso marker and the brush tip and I'm going to just flick some speckles on here. And just to kind of make it a, a more complete look, I'm even going to do it on the back side. Okay, so we're just going all over as much as you like. Perfect. Now I'm going to let um, let that just um, dry for a second here. And um, I'll just show you what other pieces I 
prepared for this. Now to kind of make my uh, top and bottom here, I used a die. It's from our new bundle, Celebration Tidings, in the holiday catalog. And you have a stamp set. Of course, you can purchase these separately. But it comes with this um, beautiful set of dies. I just love these. These are so much fun. At first, I was like, yeah, well, maybe not my thing. And then I decided to get them, and now I just love them. So as you can see, I just used the smallest one. And I run it through my die cutting machine. And uh, I wanted to have, just pick up kind of the wood theme here. So I grabbed some Just Jade from the 6x6 uh, In Color Designer Series paper. And you get each um, of the five colors and in four different patterns. So the one with the woods has also words on the back. And then you have these fun circles with this grungy texture. So... If your pattern, I mean, of course, you could also use cardstock, but if your uh, designer paper or pattern paper has a specific direction, make sure that you die cut it in the right way. So here I decided to go like this. So I wanted to make sure that my wooden texture is also kind of following the line of the trees. And now all we got to do is line these up and fold of course you could use your bone folder um your sorry your paper trimmer but i feel like this is actually just the quickest and easiest way and then the same thing for this one okay now okay and then i also die cut this cute little circle here and I don't know if you can see it has this beautiful little embossed shape all around so that's what I'm going to use for my sentiment and I got those out of another favorite of mine it's in the main catalog it's a tasteful labels dies it's a beautiful product suite but most importantly I love the designer paper with all that texture but um, I also love the dies you have plenty of different uh, labels that you can die cut and I haven't used this uh, tiny little circle here, but it just fits perfectly for my happy trails here. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that on there. And the beauty of circle die um, or punched out shapes is that it doesn't really matter if you get it on, you know, the direction because you can always turn it around a little bit. So I'm going to stamp my happy trails. Just right there. And I'm stamping it on mint macaron with just jade. Kind of picking up the color combination. Well, it's it's a toned down just jade. But um, for me, mint macaron is just a perfect match. So getting that out of the way. Now we can, this should be dry now. You can always double check. Okay. So now uh, we have our score lines here. And we need to do an accordion fold. So we're going to go like this first. Okay. Okay, line it up. And then the other one is going the other direction. If you wanted to, you could turn uh, over your cardstock or your designer paper when you do that score line to make it a little bit easier. But the um, cardstock is sturdy enough. So, I think it's okay. Okay, like this. And I like to do the other one first. Just line up your edges down here. And you see, even though this is the back of the pouch, it just has more of a finished look if you um, put some speckles there as well. Okay, and this one here in the middle. Okay. Depending on how you um, score 
your cardstock or your paper. It might be a tiny bit off center, but it doesn't matter. This little pouch is very forgiving. So, but you can see how it's coming together now. And um, what I would like to do is, because this is going to be glued down, and then it looks, I don't know if you can tell. Let me turn it around. So we're going to glue this side down here. So that's what the pouch is going to look like. It's not going to open all the way like this one does. So what I'm going to do is uh, actually glue both sides down. Okay. Just so when you open the pouch, it has um, yeah, a more cohesive look to it. So I'm just going to use, okay, got to make sure I'm using the right one now. Doing the right side. So I'm just going to put a little bit of my tumble here and then on here. Of course, you could make this a little bit longer and uh, make these two strips here wider so you could use your tear and tape. But um, I think the tumble is going to work here as well. Okay, and now we're just going to lining it up. And uh, you want to make sure that you're not using too much. If you're using the liquid glue, that you're not um, putting too much on there. Because then it might just um, move uh, to the inside of the pouch. And then it's getting sticky in places you don't want it to be sticky. So, And you can see now it has just a little bit of a uh, nicer finish. I can show you when I open up that one. So that's our little pouch there. Almost has some um, wallet look. I really love stamping early espresso on our new cinnamon cider. I'm not sure if I did any video so far that is not using the cinnamon cider. Okay, so now we decide where we want our top and bottom pieces here. And, uh, yep, do I want that on the top? Yeah, I have a little bit of wooden texture there. So, again, we're just using our tumble. And, again, uh, so here's your fold. You want to make sure don't um, get it all the way over there. So I would kind of skip the score line. Okay. And um, then kind of put it on there. And fold it over. And now you can still kind of wiggle. You can wiggle it into place. And yes, the, the die cut shape is a tiny bit longer. So. But I wanted to make use of a full um, six by um, six inch piece of paper so you could uh, make this pouch also with designer paper not just cardstock Oops. messed up my corner there a little bit okay just making sure the glue is everywhere where it's supposed to be at least okay so there's a little pouch there now and like I said you could put a gift card in here and a little message if you wanted to. Um, and in this one, actually, I put <laughs> some coffee candy here. Some Vetas. Well, that's what we call it in Germany. <laughs> Vetas. So, like this. And I think you could even fit, depending on how you put them in there. Oh, you see, now that one doesn't want to come out even. So, depending on how you put them in there, you could act, maybe even get four in there, but that's going to be pretty tight, especially if you glue down both of these sides. So, how about we just do the gift card version this time? Okay. 
And now to close our little pouch here, I'm going to put liquid glue and just on one side, on the back side. Okay. So, and again, putting it on there because that way we can open and close it without any problem. So the, the initial idea was kind of, you know, having your coffee chocolates and then if somebody goes on a trip or something, a camping trip, you could just give them a little bit of coffee candy for their hiking trip, their camping weekend, something like that. Okay, so I think that's all good. So you see, it opens like this and the gift card is still going in and out without any issues. Now, um, to make tying the bow a little bit easier, I like to use a clip and I have a little bit of, you know, just scrap cardstock in here because um, these clips are pretty tight so they might leave some unwanted um, impression on here. So that's, that's the whole reason behind this pumpkin pie strip there. So it's just Okay, keeping it close. So, and then I'm using the, what's it called? Uh, faux suede trim in early espresso. So just picking up that color again. And depending on how much ribbon you need to tie a nice bow or a knot. You see, doing it on camera makes me nervous. There we go, that looks nicer. Now just trimming off the ends a little bit. Okay, so now we can still open the pouch, but because the t um, the top and bottom pieces are a little bit wider than our cardstock, it's not going to slide off. So, I mean, I'm sure you could kind of force it across. So, and now last thing to do is putting on our little label. Again, I'm using up my paper pumpkin blue dots here. So I'm just going to put one, oops, okay, just one right on there, and putting our ribbon into place, then all I'm going to do is kind of tuck it under there. So it looks like a little tag, but we don't have to mess around with any extra ribbon or something like that. So, and again, if they open the pouch, it will just stick on there and stay. So, that's why I don't put any blue dots or dimensionals under here. So, and there we go. So, as you can see, you have some candy in this one, or just a gift card in this one. And that's my little um, idea for today's Thursday treat. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like, leave me a subscription, just hit the subscribe button for my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions about uh, this project, just leave me a comment below and happy stamping. Bye.